Back in the days, I had the Samloster Pro and later the Samloster 16 and the AWE32. I thought the sound was excellent until I heard a Roland synthesizer at a friend's place. I was blown away. Just these last few months I have rediscovered how good MIDI and sound in DOS games. It gives me a reason to play these old games once more. Street Fighter 2 Turbo is a good example. After you have patched the game to version 1.5 or higher, it will support both general MIDI and MP32. This game alone has over 60 unique melodies. Listen. Blaster X2 is a general MIDI synthesizer. You connect it to your sound card by plugging it directly on any sound card with a Wave Blaster interface. My favorite is the Sound Blaster 16, which you can buy very cheap these days. I recommend taking a look at this video from Phil's Computer Lab on how to set it up. The X2 has 64 megabytes of RAM so you can load large sound fonts. It comes with a software package that contains several soft fonts and has several presets. There are so many ways of configuring this device that I could make an hour-long video about how to configure it. After spending hours of playing with it and the different sound fonts and presets, I found that using the Buran sound font with the presets from Phil's computer lab gave the best sound, at least for my ears. The Buran soft font is also the largest at 51 MB. Tyrion 2K has support for general MIDI and it has 40 melodies. This is a fantastic shoot em up game with great music. Another great game is Sam and Max, Islam. Some games have no support for general MIDI, but they support MT32. 
You can set the Dream Blast or X2 to use the same instruments as an MT32. You can do this by sending a signal to the X2 to set it to MT32 mode. Just download a file from Vogons and start MT32 BAT and you are in MT32 mode. Let's listen to Monkey Island in MT32 mode. Monkey Island is also available in a special edition on Steam. And with the Monkey Island Ultimate Talkie Edition Builder, you can create a DOS version with General MIDI. Let's listen to the General MIDI version. In my opinion, the Dream Blaster X2 has excellent noise levels. I can hear no noise coming from the Dream Blaster. The Buron instruments are high quality, and with all the settings, you can tune the sound to your liking. The Dream Blaster will from now on be installed in my Pentium Overdrive with a Sound Blaster 16. As mentioned, I've rediscovered MIDI these last few months. Earlier I was very hung up on the Roland MT32. Now I have realized that the MT32 is not the best MIDI synthesizer out there. And most games will sound even better with other synthesizers. Also, there are so many parameters you can set and so many sound fonts to choose from that it's hard to say what MIDI synth is the best. I really like that you can plug it on your Sound Blaster 16 card. In all your DOS games that supports Wave Blaster, General MIDI, or even MT32 will work. With the Dream Blaster X2, I believe that General MIDI can conquer the game-loving people of DOS. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel.